Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of The Hunt here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. This will probably be our final episode of the day um, because we are going to be moving on to uh, back to Borderlands 1 in our rotation of three kind of episodes per game. Uh, oh, hello! Wow! I swear I did not know that was in there. The reason I'm in Virago Solitude is I've uh, last time I was here in this character I was doing um, ultimate farming routes actually. Wow, what a start! Hey, that's a good point actually. The end of the last episode we was um, we was doing um, vendor farms, so that is pretty darn good actually. Um, for the frag trap, have we got that one? What is it? Celestial. Let me bring up my list quickly. Um, Celestial, uh, pre-sequel, number two, uh, medium banquet. Celestial class mods, we've got Nisha and Athena. We have not got um, Frag Trap. How much is it? Eight mil? Hey, hey, what a start to the episode. Wow, that looks so planned. I promise you guys that was not planned. Boom, tick that off the list. What a start. What an actual start. Do you know what? I think we're going to start this episode off with a, a quick vendor farm. And then um, we're going to be getting another legendary today. I was thinking of maybe going for the bosun and uh, trying to get that cryophobia. Right, let's start off with a, uh, a vendor farm then. Um, just go through all the vending machines, see if we can get anything else. But if we don't, then that is fine because we've already got one. Um... Wow, I love it when things happen like that. God, last episode as well, we did we did two full vendor farms and got nothing. But on the third one, I pushed my luck with an outro. I remember now. It's been nearly a week since I last recorded the last hunt episode. But yeah, I remember um, I um, pushed my luck and started doing an outro, a very long outro, so I could get a whole Concordia farm in um, with the vending machines. <laughs> and it actually paid off, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. So we'll go in backwards rotation here and uh, see if we can get ourselves anything good. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we might get another one. You never know. I doubt the look of that will be uh, astronomical, but you never know. If I could just find one more of them uniques, the uh, the boomer corn or the old painful, I'll be very happy as well. Hello, Jack. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to go bosun farming. Now I know the bosun drops the pyro, uh, sorry, cryophobia, but I'm sure he's got something else, another legendary in his loot pool as well. But I cannot for the life of me remember what it is. I know they added something um, qu quite a few months after the game came out. They added something to his loot pool. But I just cannot remember what it was now. Hello, sanctuary. No. Uh, I've got to start checking those because you never know when it's going to be the uh, the uniques I want. Pretty sure I'll recognise them, but gotta look, gotta look. Right, Elysia. Mm, no way, no freaking way. Let's go off the screen. I'm just, I don't think we've got this. Where is it? The old painful. Oh my god. What a absolute start. That's the one that we're looking for. We've already got the machine, haven't we? Yes. And we've already got the wet week. And we've already got... What was the other one? Oh, we need the Jacko cannon as well. We've already got the hail. So we just need the boomer core, uh, boomer corn, and the jacko cannon. But hey, I will take that all day long. Four minutes into the episode, guys, and we've already got a unique and a legendary. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. That's another episode of the hunt. <laughs> a very easy episode. Now we'll continue. I don't even want to.
carry on vendor farming here in case we get something else. Now actually we need all of them, any loot source legendaries, the ones that don't have a designated drop. So we'll definitely carry on with that. I seem to remember at the end of the Borderlands 2 um, legendary run, I don't need to go back to Virago, do I? I've already been there. Um, yeah, I seem to remember the last hunt episode we did in Borderlands 2, we ended up getting about three or four legendaries. So uh, it just goes to show, last episode hype. The game knows the last episode hype. Um, I don't think there are any unique grenades, I'm not sure. There might be some new unique grenades actually. But I don't know if they're random drops. No. I'll have to look into that one. They're not on the list though, whatever they are. God, can you imagine if we can get one more legendary here? Again, I'm only going to do one vendor rotation, especially now. But there are so many things we need to go to the grinder for. To the... Um, the vendor farms for so I don't want to have to do too many of them um, tight industrial yeah why not right let me grab a drink I am also a little bit I won't say ill I will warn you now though um, not too well at the minute I've just seen a comment actually pop up on my uh, notifications on my phone from someone saying uh, are you sick because you sound quite sick. Um, not so much sick. More, yeah, more duh, in the middle. I've just got a cold, basically. My head's a bit stuffy and uh, nose is a bit blocked up. So I do sound a bit, a bit different from usual. But I'm not ill. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Plus, nothing's going to stop me farming on Pandora. But I do apologise if my voice sounds a bit stuffy bit tired as well not slept well I'll say not slept very well I've slept okay but I just don't seem to have felt like I've slept very well and I'm back at work tomorrow so I'm not happy about that but it's fine we'll plow through so yeah just wanted to say that in case uh, anyone thinks that doesn't sound like him very much I'm quite aware now actually while I'm talking I don't sound like I normally do to myself if that makes sense but we'll be fine. Right, we are rapidly approaching the end of our farm here. What we got left? Triumph Flats and Concordia, I think. Yes, we have, right. Um, and then, yeah, we'll try the bosun. See if he's generous enough to, uh, to give us anything. So glad I got that. Oh, painful though. That's one more of them uniques. I hate having to find the uniques. I don't want to farm my Wajira again. Oh, that was close. Um, right, let's go this way first. Let's see if Concordia can uh, give us anything. Right, come on. I could really do with one of these shields. What have we got in the shield department? Loads, Fabled Taurus, Big Thumper, Avalanche. I don't know if Iwajira still drops the Avalanche actually. Rio Janita, Cradle, Sham, Whiskey, Tango, Foxtrot. There's loads. Uh, oh yeah, we'll grab these ones first. No. I think the Boomercorn's a big pink shotgun actually, so we'll see that one a mile away if it ever comes up. Right. Okay, nothing. That's fine. That is fine. Because we don't need them. No. No. Right, what I'm going to do now is, don't worry, I'm not going to do a full vendor farm. But because we're here in this little transition, I'm just going to run Concordia vendors once more. Just to step it up a little bit. And then uh, I think next couple of episodes when we're back here we're going to use some of these legendaries that we've got from previous drops to start getting some of the uh, grinder drops off the list I think that'll definitely be worth it 
and we've still got a couple of um, legendaries to farm as well plenty of that it's Borderlands 2 we need to focus on more than anything we've got a lot of things off the list in Borderlands 1 that'll start slowing down soon and it'll probably just be um, hybrid legendary farming and pearl farming um, Borderlands 2 is well there's a lot there's a lot of serifs a lot of legendaries a lot of everything to uh, to pick up so uh, yeah plenty of work cut out might have to start extending the Borderlands 2 rotation to maybe five episodes just so we can keep it balanced right let's head on out then not looking forward to this run it's alright, like you just get shot at a lot, you get downed a lot, and then the bosun himself can be a bit of a pain. Right, I think we've got six vendors in here to check as well, though. That looks like a nice grenade. Purple sniper, let's get some. Um, I'm full. Good. Right, here we go then. Uh, we'll keep the Fatale on us for now. We'll have another drink keep the uh, the old throat lubed up especially with my voice sounding not so well sometimes when you're uh, doing a lot of recording you probably heard this with loads of youtubers but if they don't keep drinking your voice goes a bit croaky and uh, yeah it really isn't great to uh, be talking all day right mate I'll uh, I'll get my tombstone up on you why not It'll probably go straight away, but hey, nothing there, nothing there. I think there's two, actually there's two more vendors up near the bosun as well, actually. So that's eight vendors we're going to hit today uh, while farming this guy. So that might give us a good chance of getting something good. You watch him drop it first time. If he does, then <laughs> it's going to be a nice short episode. It's just the way it happens sometimes. There you can go three episodes with nothing and then uh, get six or seven things in the same episode I hope I was going to say thank you shield for kicking back in there hope we don't go down right oh god I can't remember how to farm this guy I think we just take them turrets out first and then use the tombstone to wreck his face Wow, no tombstone hardly at all though. Where is the bosun? There he is. Well, I really didn't get much on him then. And then missiles are coming for me. No, that is not a good tactic. Um, could really do with someone to help me get up, please. Where's this guy? He's there. And he's frozen, probably in the wrong place. Yeah, well, that wasn't clever, was it? Right. Now, all his shield regenerators are down. I'm going to have to get kills off people. I think I need to draw him closer to me when I come down that ramp. I think that's the best way to do it. Damn you, bosun. He's at full health now as well. Right, let's try this one again, then. Anyone going to help me? Oh, you're down here now, yeah? That didn't help at all. Where is he? He's there. Oh, that might help out. Come on. That's it, well I've got Tombstone. Oh, it's going down nicer now. Where is he? Oh, he's there. There we go. Didn't see anything orange drop out of him then. Well, that was better run. Still would have liked to a, a bit quicker, but he's a tough guy at this level. Very tough guy. Let's just check all the loot, check nothing definitely came out of him. 
can't pick anything up anyway. Right, there was some stuff chopped up top as well, but I'm pretty sure I'd have seen it. But we'll check anyway, and we'll keep a better eye on it next time. And I think it all dropped down. Bit of money there, that's it. Oh, there's some stuff here now, it's just O2. Okay, that's one, uh, one run anyway. Better than nothing. And if I can uh, just hit it every time, so we can keep Tombstone up, I'll be quite happy with that. In fact, I've got a plan for next time if he's up there again. I'll just take one turret out, do a bit of tombstoning on him, turn around, take another turret out, and just keep the tombstone going. It's just if the git gets me down, them rockets are really powerful. I really should just stand back and uh, keep out of the way, but <laughs> you should know me by now. That is not my style. It's the all in or nothing approach. Oh god, here we go. Go away. Open quick. Or I'll just kill him. Either way. Delivery. Good looking shotgun there. You leave me alone. Right. Hopefully it won't go down in this area. No butt slamming because there's plenty of barrels about. I say no butt slamming then I go and do it. I meant not when there's barrels about. Right, should be good. Nothing there. Nothing there. God, this is going to cost me a lot. Now, idea. If I get that down there, there we go, oh he's over there, oh no he's there, crap, okay that was my bad, oh god I'm getting wrecked, quick. Right, let's just try and take him down. Oh. God, I've got no health. Please, nothing attack me. But that was much better. Much better, wasn't it? Hey, eh? You guys sod off. Don't try and take my glory kill. Um, I don't know where he went down, though. I can't remember where he went down. Right. Did he go down over here or over there? I think it was over here. It's probably where that weapon dropped, but... If I miss this thing and it dropped, I will not be happy. Yeah, I do remember it was down here. That was much better, though. I can't believe how quick he went down in the end. Right, I don't think there's anything here. Just that thing that he dropped there. Hey, progress. Right, let's just uh, grab some ammo while I'm here. Save me spending all my money. Two runs down, though. Happier with the second run. They're a lot happier. Like I said earlier, eight vendors to uh, check as well. Come on, legendary shields or grenades. Or guns. I'll take guns, definitely. What guns have we got? We've got the Fusillade, Hammer Buster 2, Major Tom, Shredder Fire, Fragnum, Logan's Gun, Look Cannon, Maggie, Revolution, Shooterang, Flayer, Sledge's Shotty, Viral Marketer, Cheat Code, Hellfire, IVF, Invader, Magna, Pitchfork, Badaboom, Canada's Laser, Mongol, Absolute Zero, Cat and Nine Tails, Min Min Lighter, all to pick up in weapons so plenty of uh, things to come it's such a shame that you can't farm bosses for these though it's a massive mistake in Borderlands pre-sequel the farming was not good at all it's better than it was but 2k Australia 
really didn't get what Borderlands was all about. Luckily Gearbox have fixed a little bit of it. But it's still a lot of... Uh, oh, let's just pointlessly, endlessly farm the grinder for weapons. And I was afraid that was going to happen. Gits. Did you realise I've got the bosun to farm? Don't want you lot coming in. Hurting me. It's hard enough to kill him as it is. Uh, adaptive shield, no. Um, let's grab some of this. Let's see if anyone follows me here. No, I don't want them to anyway, that was a stupid tactic. I want to be up here and ready for the kill. Right, bosun's there. So if we go... Out. No, that's not good. Right, let's get this turret down. Luckily, I flew that way. Right, switch. Oh yeah, easy. Absolutely easy. Something dropped out there. What was it? It was a rocket launcher, but I think it was purple. I know something dropped out there and it looked like a purple rocket launcher. No. Might be wrong. Oi. The battle's over, mate. Okay, it might have been that blue gun then. I'm sure it looked like a rocket launcher to me though, but I may be wrong. Looks like I was wrong. No, there's nothing here. Okay, well, that was a good kill again. A very good kill. I just want to check up top, just in case. Let's see, there was a bit up here. There any moonstones though. Right, here we go then. Should have enough time for three or four more runs, I think. Right. <coughs> Shield. O2 kit. SMG. All suck. Hopefully we'll get it this run or the next run still trying to work out what the gun is that he drops other than the cryophobia there was definitely one added in I'm sure of it right you're not welcome you're not welcome thank you just keep the uh, threat down Nice looking sniper, but not the one we want. Don't know why I'm grabbing that. Oh, pistol ammo, I suppose. Right, hopefully we won't go down in this one. Just got to know when to jump and where. Right, let's see if we can uh, get these turrets down even quicker this time. I'm just going to use T4SR instead of this. Hopefully capitalise. Once you've got a good few amounts of uh, shots on him in Tombstone, he's normally a lot easier. Ow. Right. There we go, that's it, go on, I might go down here, yes I am, but oh god, look how easy it is going to be to kill him. There we go, there we go, I saw it, I don't know where it went, there it is, boom, the cryophobia. Ah, no, naughty, naughty, there we go. Got to tell them. <laughs> See ya. Right, well, there you go, guys. Nice and easy today. Three things to tick off the list. 
I've lost it, I think I know where it is anyway, it's behind me. But let's just grab all this while we're here. And grab a bit of this. And uh, yeah, there you go. Nice and easy. Let's go and pick it up. The cryophobia. Boom. No arguments here. I am not arguing either, my friend. Right, let's see if we can drop something. So many orange. Um, there's a cryophobia anyway from a previous uh, different farm. Um, yeah, we can get rid of that. And that. Give us a bit of space. Boom, cryophobia. Done and dusted. Let's get our asses out of here. Please. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I think I might actually end it there. Finally, for the first time in hunt history, I'm going to be finishing an episode slightly early. It's only about four minutes early. Normally I try and go to the half hour mark. But uh, I'm thinking two Concordia farms and then we'll end it. So we're probably not going to finish early. <laughs> I don't like finishing early. Let's do two more Concordia vendor farms. Just to see if we can get anything. And I promise you I won't be vendor farming that much. Uh, but we do have to do it. We've got to find everything. I think we're going to, uh, next time we come to the pre-sequel as well, we're going to have to start grinder farming at least once per episode, just to keep things coming. And the good thing about grinder farming is you can set your file to read only. So if you get something you've already got, you can just reload the save uh, until you get something that you haven't got. And uh, that way we can keep ticking things off the list. And we're not technically cheating because we're still using two legendaries uh, every time it's just we want to get we want to get what we want so it's not cheating it's being smart that's what I say right come on can we end on something amazing I would like a weapon a decent weapon or I wouldn't mind another class mod actually because them things are going to be a pain in the neck to farm but got to be done. We're going to have to go to the Holodome at some point as well. Okay, nothing in this one. Let's quit out, run it once more and then that is it. And uh, yeah, we are actually going to end on the 30 minute mark looking at this. We're 20, 20 set, just over 27 and a half minutes. So uh, this will take about two minutes to run unless we get something and then it will take a lot more. Quite happy with the bosun though. He did me uh, did me quite good. What was it? Three runs or four? I think it was four, wasn't it? I can't remember. It was in. It was so long ago. Um. No. Come on. Come on. Give me something. I'm getting greedy now. I know. Doesn't look like it, but we'll uh, we'll try. You can only hope. And uh, I'm hungry. And it's dinner time. So I'm off to the chippy. Yep, definitely. I think I've earned this. Three things to tick off the list. Chippy time. Right guys, there you go anyway. So that was the uh, a very successful start actually. We managed to get a class mod for Claptrap. A unique off the list as well and then finally we managed to get the cryophobia as well what a start eh got to check them vendors as much as possible that's my number one tip of the day uh, but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching really hope you've enjoyed another episode of the hunt next episode back to borderlands let's try and get our first pearl that will be my main focus i think we'll probably start off with a, a craw a mass chrome racks farm see if we can get anything decent off him but uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.